in earlier steps, we built a, a volunteer, the sites function, and we also activated the visual force so that we were able to uh, take a look at a sample uh, registration form. And so this is using this address to create this form. But let's say we really don't need volunteer organization. Uh, we want to also add an additional field. In a past video, we built a checkbox field called required service, and it would be nice to, to add that. So if we go into uh, the, the sites area again, um, and we look at uh, the volunteers, and we look at this volunteer sign-up form, which was, again, that was the URL that we were using. This shows us the Visual Force page. And what you're seeing is to add adopt, uh, optional fields, you have to be using field sets and then GW volunteers. Um, so to make that happen, um, what we're going to do is to use this form and make some changes. So going in on field sets, what that means is you actually have to switch to classic because field sets, and this is in September of 2017, aren't available yet. I'm assuming this may be totally uh, superseded. But in the meantime, what you're doing is, is going into a contacts object to, uh, to field sets. And then I'm selecting uh, this one again, because when we look at the visual force, what we're looking for here is, is uh, GW volunteers underscore underscore volunteers. Um, sign up FS, and we can see that in fact uh, that's the one we want. So what we're going to do is to edit that, and this field set is very similar to a layout, uh, and that what we're doing is kind of working with with information that's up here. So let's say we want to take away um, volunteer organization. Uh, we don't really need that, so we're going to drop it up here, and then what we want to do is to bring uh, two other fields. What I'd like to do is to pull down mailing address. And actually, what I really want is just um, uh, city and, or the street address and the city address. So what I'm going to do is to pull these down. So let's just let, you know, add them here. And what I'm just doing is grabbing each of these and putting them in sequence because you'll, you can see that I'm not exactly sure which one's which right now. Um, and because there's not a lot of description, this is just a simple way to do it. So what I've done now is I've grabbed all three of the unique uh, line items. Uh, and I also want to go out and grab the field that we built in, again, the prior video, which was called required service. And so I want to stick required service in there as well, just to add it to the form. Um, and what you're seeing here is this is the sequence of how they're going to display on the form. But we can we can play with this back and forth. So I'm going to save this now, uh, and then I'm going to say, uh, let's go out and take a look at what the form is going to do. So now I'm going to refresh the form, and so what it's telling me is I've got required service. Uh, although I didn't seem to quite get it. Oh, here we go. There's a, a message here that says there was fuel level security issues. Um, let's see what else we did get. We did get, uh, looking at this, we got mailing country, city, zip code, state, uh, and, and mailing street. So if we look at that in sequence, the ones we wanted was uh, mailing city after mailing street. So what I would do is take the second one, move it down, and then eliminate the top three. But in the meantime, we need to figure out this required service piece. Um, so what we, what we need to do is to, to look at the uh, site guest user profile. The way we get to that is, uh, is, is using, again, the, the sites function. And we can do that from Classic as well. So I'm just going to go in here to volunteers. Um, and then what I'm going to do is to go to public access settings and then to object settings, because what I'm trying to do is to, to manage permission to field level. Um, and I'm going to drop in here, and I'm going to say, what have I got in the way for my, uh, uh, actually, I have to edit it first. Let me just do that while I'm up here. So I'm going to edit this. Um, and it's building. 
And what I'm doing now is giving it read and write access to the site's profile. And so that's actually uh, an important step for us because uh, otherwise it's not seeing it. So what we're going to do is to go back up here to required service. We're going to see that in fact it hadn't been checked because uh, it you know, didn't, didn't happen. So we're going to save it. Uh, what that allows us to do then is to go um, back out and let's do a refresh again. And you can see we now have the required service. We also have these fields here. So what we want to do is to say, let's go out and edit it one more time. And what we said was, again, that what we wanted to do was to move the second one here to the bottom of mailings and then eliminate the top three. So I'm going to eliminate the first one, two, three. I'm going to save that. And then I'm going to go back and run it one more time and refresh it. And now what I've got is Mailing Street and Mailing City required service. And we have a form. So in the next video, we'll talk about how we would actually, uh, what we would need to do now to change that so we could um, be able to post that on our website.